a black hole, or more precisely, an artist's rendition of one. No one has yet actually seen this cosmic phenomenon. To observe objects in the endless universe by very special means is this man's aim. My name is Carsten Dansmann. I'm a physicist listening to the universe, so I detect gravitational waves here on Earth and soon in space, too. The subject of his research, gravitational waves, are integral parts of the cosmos. The strongest such waves are caused by a supernova, the explosion of a star, or the fusion of black holes. Gravitational waves are, in a way, indicators of gravity, compressing and stretching distances in time, space, and physical objects, such as our planet Earth. However, the impact of this force is invisible to the human eye. Only at the level of atoms can the changes be detected. The amount of space-time movement is only a fraction of the width of a hydrogen atom's nucleus. That is the reason why Karsten Dansmann doesn't look for gravitational waves with a telescope. His measuring tools are buried underground. In these metal pipes, laser beams play the role of a measuring tape for gravitational waves. This laser interferometer is a precision tool of enormous size. The longer the laser tubes, the more accurate the measurement. Crucially, the interferometer must be protected from even the tiniest vibration, because the signal being detected is only measurable on a minute atomic scale. This is true even for waves caused by an enormous cosmic event, which in 2015 allowed scientists to register a gravitational wave for the first time. It was caused by two black holes coming together aeons ago. For gravitation physicist Karsten Dansmann, the biggest moment of his career to date. 1.3 billion years ago, out there in the universe, two black holes fused. For millions of years, they danced around each other, picking up speed, getting closer and closer, sending out gravitational waves. And when they finally touched, there was a loud plop, and it was all over. Just imagine, this happened 1.3 billion years ago, and that wave that traveled 1.3 billion years hit us the very day that we were able, finally, to detect it. Sometimes, you just need a little luck. These gravitational waves were measured by LIGO, two collaborating interferometers based in the US. Their outstanding precision was partly made possible by Karsten Dansmann and his team. After years of waiting, the gravitational wave born out of the black hole rendezvous was detected here, a scientific sensation, admittedly not overly thrilling in appearance to a layperson. Yes, this looks rather inconspicuous as a graph, but when you listen to it, you can hear the universe with its gravitational waves. These waves are in a frequency range the human ear could actually hear if our ears were only a billion times more sensitive, but the amplified signal, it's just awesome to hear that sound. At the beginning of the 20th century, the scientific groundwork for the possible existence of gravitational waves was laid by Albert Einstein. Many decades of uncertainty followed before proof was found that waves in space-time really do exist. Carsten Dansmann and other present-day physicists have turned another chapter of the theory of relativity into reality. And there's more. Outside Hanover lies GEO 600, Karsten Dansmann's field laboratory. 
The lasers inside this interferometer reach across a distance of 600 meters. GEO 600 is capable of measuring gravitational waves and it is a testing ground for new technologies because all interferometers share this basic principle. Two legs for laser beams perpendicular to one another. The interferometer looks for minute discrepancies between the distances travelled by the laser light in one leg compared to the other. Originating from just one source, a laser beam is split into two and travels down the two legs. At the end of each tube, a mirror reflects the light back towards the source. Normally, the two travel at exactly the same speed, because each leg is exactly the same length. But when a gravitational wave warps space-time, the distance changes, and that small deviation is registered by the machine and results in a signal. Since that first signal in 2015, several fusions of black holes have been detected, providing data on the far reaches of the universe that cannot be investigated using telescopes. But gravitation physicists like Dansman and his colleagues are not only aiming to uncover the invisible secrets of the cosmos, their groundwork on interferometers contributes to very practical uses in space missions. We'll have two satellites in a low orbit around Earth. They'll measure their distance to each other using laser interferometers based on the technology we developed for detecting gravitational waves. We can thus measure the gravitational field of our planet. From this, we can even deduce information on the Earth's groundwater table. Because when groundwater levels change, the gravitation in that area changes too. Such satellite missions are the only way to measure globally across space and time what's going on with our water supplies. The seemingly inconspicuous gravitational wave signal received in 2015 is more than a milestone for science. It marks the starting point for the development of a new generation of interferometers. These facilities that Dansman's team contribute to will be such exact measuring devices that they could pave the way for a whole new kind of astronomy, gravitational wave astronomy. This is not the end of a long road of development. No, this is just the beginning. We'll see a very fruitful gravitational wave astronomy develop in the years to come. Paving the way for proving great theories and for a whole new branch of scientific research. Carsten Dansmann.